Once your foam plate is ready, it's time to start printing. What you'll need is your foam plate, you'll want some scrap paper, some sort of spoon, either a wooden spoon or a metal spoon will work just fine. You're going to want a paper or foam plate, your ink, your tongue depressor, your foam brayer, and then your three papers to print on, the white paper, your warm paper, and your cool paper. So let's get started by putting our paper off to the side so it stays clean. I like to take the scrap paper and place it under my plate so that way I don't make too big of a mess. I'm going to begin by grabbing a hold of my tongue depressor and I'm going to take about a teaspoon of ink and I'm going to just dollop it here on my plate. So just a little bit you can always add a little bit more but in this case too much ink can actually make for a blurry print so i'm going to go ahead and just set that off to the side and grab my roller now this takes a little bit of time you're going to spread the ink out until you get an even layer so you're going to just work your roller on the ink until it's smooth and it looks like we're gonna need a little bit more <laughs> so just spread and ink up your roller until you hear that kind of velcro sound and your roller is kind of evenly covered so it can be helpful to like pick it up and go a couple times so once I'm all inked up, I'm going to start to ink up my plate. So I'm going to just begin to roll, trying to get even coverage. I want to pay close attention to the edges, so that way I have clean lines when it's time to print. So here you can see why I like to have scrap paper under my foam plate. So that way I'm not making a big mess. So I'm just going to pick up some more ink and carefully kind of just hold the edge there, spread it evenly until it is nice and coated. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to move my inky stuff out of the way. So I'm going to carefully pick up my plate with my fingers, scooch the inky stuff out of the way, okay? And you might wanna just wipe off your fingers at this point. What I'm gonna start with is my white paper, and I'm gonna go ahead and carefully lay it on top of my foam plate, trying to make sure that it's kind of even, so that the top line and the, the foam are parallel to each other. So I'm gonna go ahead and just gently drop it down, trying to center it, but we'll adjust it if we need to. So once you drop it down, that's it, okay? No wiggling. You're gonna gently give it a press so that it sticks in place. And now you grab that spoon. So using the spoon, you're going to rub the plate, making sure you get all the corners applying a good amount of pressure, kind of muscle it. You can start to see the print show through. You can start to see your line work. You can see it darkening where the ink is transferring. So you can get a good idea if it's working or not. So you're gonna work all the way around. You don't wanna wait too long from when you ink up your plates so when you put your paper on because it is water soluble ink, so it doesn't stay wet forever, but it's pretty tacky, so um, you have time to definitely give it a good burnishing here on the back. Again, corners are so crucial. You don't wanna end up with a bald corner. So really making sure you get all of those details. Whew, it's a good workout. You can give a tiny peek. So 
if I hold my paper down, I can kind of look and see that the ink is transferring really well. So I think I'm almost ready. Just one more for good measure. Make sure I get the eyes. I feel like sometimes you forget the middle if you focus on the edges too much. So, okay, now the big reveal. So I'm going to go ahead and carefully lift up from one corner, kind of use my finger to hold the plate as I gently peel and reveal my Chinese Zodiac print. So here you can see it transferred really well. You can see um, it's nice and dark. The lines are really crisp. I did lose a little bit of ink on this side and you can kind of see actually where my fingerprint was right there. So next time I ink it up for my warm and cool papers, I'll be really cautious to make sure I get all of those areas really well for my second and third print. Now, before I do my final print, I actually washed my foam plate off because I wanted to make sure that too much ink was not getting into my carved lines. It's really important that if you do wash your plate off, that it is completely dry. If there's any water in those grooves, it'll make for a blurry print when you go to print it. So make sure it's clean and very, very dry before you ink it and print again.